I completely disagree with the way Brandon and Desiree parent my daughter. At Brandon and Desiree's house, everything is regimented. My daughter is not allowed to eat sweets. They make my daughter go to bed at 8 p.m. every night. She's not allowed to watch television. They make my daughter scrub the house, clean up. Danielle truly believes that we treated our daughter like Cinderella. She's scrubbing floors, sweeping, dusting, um, and really, she does the dishes, and um, that's it. I really do think that this is excessive for a child. Well, Danielle says she is desperate to regain custody because Brandon is a controlling ex-military psychopath. But Brandon says Danielle is not a good mother to her daughter. She uses her as a pawn and refers to her as, quote, that child. Take a look. My ex, Danielle, is incredibly hateful, spiteful, antagonistic, and a malicious human being. She has terrorized my family for years. Danielle has pressed incredible amount of charges against me. Danielle has accused me of threatening to kill her twice. Accused me of harassment, and she's filed three different restraining orders against me. I want to make it clear that I have never threatened to kill Danielle in any way, shape, or form. It's ridiculous. She throws these accusations around and hopes something sticks. I've had to travel to New York to go to court four times a year, spending three to $4,000 because of the things that she has filed. I can't stand it. Every single time, Danielle visits with my daughter. There is always drama. I've driven 16 hours from Alabama to New York to go pick up my daughter, and Danielle wouldn't hand her over. I've had to go to court. There have been times where Danielle has purposefully made us miss our flight. Because of Danielle's games, my daughter has missed a substantial amount of school. Danielle's priorities are completely wrong. One of my biggest frustrations is that Danielle puts God singing for church and her aspirations to be rich and famous above the needs of our daughter. She wants to be famous, but she doesn't actually have any talent. Okay. She's made some serious allegations that you're jerking her around, you're costing her money, that you are being both negligent um, and harsh and, I, I guess, actually abusive with this child. What do you say to that? I say her allegations are completely false on all accounts. And as a matter of fact, if anything were true, it would be what she said about me is actually true about her mm -hmm. in all how, respects. How'd you two get together? Um, chance meeting while I was on leave in New York, so. You just kind of bumped into each other? Yeah, yeah. She was a waitress at the time, and me and my buddies were out to dinner. You went into a, a restaurant or a club or something? And yeah, we went, we went to a restaurant, and she was the waitress. And afterwards, after dinner, she came with us to play pool, and, and that's how we met, exchanged phone numbers. And later on, I went to the Marine Corps Ball, and I invited her down to North Carolina for that. Mm -hmm. So. And so she went to North Carolina with you? Yeah, she came down to North Carolina, and uh, she spent four, three or four days down in North Carolina. Uh, we went to the Marine Corps ball together, and then uh, she went back to New York. Okay. Why did she go back? Because that's where she lived, and it was time for her to go back. Yeah. So. Did she want to stay, or did she want to go? At the time, it seemed like she wanted to stay already. Um, after only a couple days, and we hadn't had like a big extravagant relationship or anything. So, yeah, I was surprised by it. And, uh, you know, eventually I told her, you know, look, we, we, you can't stay really. I mean, I'm going to be full time working here and stuff. And, you know, this was a date kind of thing. You know, it's time to go back. So I ended up taking her to the airport and she left. So. Okay. As it turns out, did she get pregnant then? Yes. Yes, she did. Okay. Were you taking precautions? Not that night. You were in the Marine Corps? Uh, yes, sir. Do they go over y'all with y'all how that works? <laughs> yes, sir, they do. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.